Web3 enthusiasts and a warm welcome to the Web3 Family Conference in Barcelona. I'm now representing SimpleSwap and I'm ready to interview our next guest, Cosmos SDK Facundo Medica. Hello Facundo, how's your day going so far? Hello, pretty good. Uh, meeting lots of people, lots of uh, uh, enthusiasts, as you said. Uh, so it, it's, been, it's been going great, yeah. I just heard your speech and it was fascinating. Were you looking forward to being here? Yeah, yeah, I was. I was looking forward because this is a chain agnostic uh, conference. Mm -hmm. So it was. I think it's uh, a great place to showcase what we do, what we, our technology, uh, to people that mm, most likely didn't hear about it. So yeah, it, it's nice to be here with all all of these other uh, technologies go, going around and like being able to 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 explain it to, to new people and newcomers, I, that's always super exciting to me, yeah. Well, absolutely. So was it your first time participating in this event? Or? Yes. No, it's my first time and I mean, so far it's been great, yeah. Who is the person you most wanted to meet within this event? Within this event, uh, most likely the organizers. The organizers have been great and, and they got so many uh, cool people around here. So. Uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Being, being that having having that ability of getting all these people around, uh, I think it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. So speaking of Cosmos SDK, uh, what's your roles and responsibilities within the company? So I'm a software engineer. So my role it's basically to uh, like create new features, innovate, uh, try to bring uh, cool features that uh, our users come up with. Um, also maintaining the code, um, mm -hmm. making sure everything works well. Uh, tests, debugging, all, all that kind of thing. Oh, that's so important. You mentioned cool features. Is yes. it a secret recipe to products? Most likely, yes. Uh, I think we, we need to have cool features and also like features that work well. So they have to be cool features, but also features that uh, right. actually, yeah, yeah, but they, they, they need to, to um, uh, they, they need to have a, a proper function. They need to, to work well and they need to, um, be able to be used for um, by many, many different chains, yeah. Absolutely. What are some of the coolest features that you have created? Uh, interesting to me. Well, some of the coolest features we have right now is uh, accounts abstraction. We are doing um, like a, a very advanced accounts abstraction uh, system, which is uh, in our um, ecosystem, it's going to be a module, so it's the X account and it's going to be released pretty soon. We have Server V2, I also spoke about that uh, before, and Server V2 is basically uh, making everything more modular in a way that anyone wanting to build a chain within the Cosmos SDK, they can make use of as many things as they want from the Cosmos SDK and anything that they don't think that it fits on their product, they can just change it and make their own without having to rewrite the entire SDK, right? So it's quite customizable with great features for people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so we want to, we aim to be uh, as customizable as possible, but at the same time, we want to be easy to use. So you can go with like, um, like a vanilla configuration, what I, I, I tend to say. Um, so you can use all the stuff that we already provide and we provide some options in some kind, in some uh, places, mm -hmm. but you can also like come with your own stuff, with your mo own modules and modify them, yeah. That's quite interesting. So let's imagine I'm a five-year-old kid. How would you explain cost just as the key to a kid? <laughs> okay, uh, I mean, let's pretend this five-year-old already went through, already knows what the blockchain is. Well, let's imagine, what if he doesn't yeah. know? <laughs> uh, we're in a problem. <laughs> So let, have to know. yeah, let's pretend that this five-year-old knows what a blockchain is. So, and I would tell this five-year-old, hey, we have this <clears throat> cool toolkit, which you can like with, um, you can build blockchains with, and even a four-year-old can build a blockchain with it. Okay, so that would be my explanation. <laughs> well, for a kid, yeah. now, how exactly would you explain what's the, the content of it? Um, so it's, um, a machine to make blockchains. So you just like input a bunch of parameters, a bunch of things in it, and you get a new blockchain out of it. Here's a question. Uh, why exactly did you decide to join this project? Um, I think I decided to join it because uh, I, I like to be able to help 
other teams to build their their own stuff. So I, I like, um, yeah, I, I like helping projects and other chains to accomplish their goals. So I think this is the perfect place to be because you can be like, okay, chains come to us we, because chains are, are our users and chains come to us with new features, new requirements, and we try to fit them all together in the Cosmos SDK in, in as modular, in as, um, uh, as modular as, as possible. So we, we are not bloating the Cosmos SDK, but we are allowing everyone to plug in their own stuff. So uh, I think, I think, yeah, I, I, I I think it's really cool to be able to be like in the center of the cosmos, uh, helping all of these chains uh, build sub, like these amazing projects they, they, they are building. That's quite interesting. Well, does it mean that you care about the human experience? Yes. So uh, we are more on the, so the experience we are, we are talking about, it's usually developer experience, but also human experience in the sense of, for example, account abstractions, right? So we want to make it easier for the developers to make their chains uh, in, a, in an easier manner, but also we want to have the tools to make the end users also um, happier with uh, easier ways of uh, communicating with their, with their uh, preferred uh, blockchains, yeah. That's quite interesting. Have you ever had any sort of feedback on behalf of the users, of the people, even developers who've been using the product? Yeah, we, we get all the time feedback from chains and we always try to uh, improve the, the experience from all of them. Uh, we also have, like, we, we get lots of, of feedback and it's always like pretty good feedback, like people coming to us and say, hey, maybe this thing shouldn't be like so internalized in the code. You should You, you should expose it or you should... Uh, make it more uh, modular, whatever, and uh, that's always good feedback, yeah. Okay, so is that a part of your mission, vision, and values? <laughs> yeah, I think the mission would be build whatever. So it's like we want to uh, allow and enable uh, users to build whatever they want. So if they want to build a chain, they want to build a roll-up, they should be able to do it with the Cosmos SDK, yeah. So what's the most exciting and even the most innovative aspect of Cosmos SDK as compared to similar programs? Um, I think we always are pushing uh, boundaries and that's something I, I really like. So uh, with all of these flexibility that we provide, you can be in innovating in multiple aspects. Like for example, you can have, as I said before, like a roll up, you can have a consumer chain. Yeah. And we're always like getting to, to um, move forward with better uh, better uh, features okay. and um, so yeah I think that's the, the the best thing we got yeah what's the last innovation you were involved personally uh, personally I was involved in for example server v2 uh, that's the the latest we're building and it's like the uh, we, with this we're going to achieve like a very extreme way of modularity so uh, with, with that, you'll be able to mix and match uh, parts of the SDK. You can come with your own uh, modules and you can modify uh, stuff that previously wasn't possible. Like, for example, the consensus layer. Um, right now, it's a bit complicated to change it. It's not impossible, but it's a bit complicated. But now we made that even easier uh, to, to accomplish, yeah. That's awesome. And how about the rest of use cases you want to share with us? Because I think our audiences are looking forward to knowing a little bit more. Um, those cases. Well, I think um, like those cases could be all the ways you can build a blockchain, right? For example, right now, rollups are the, the, the hot topic of the moment. Yep. And that's uh, like being able to build rollups with the Cosmos SDK. I think it's super cool. Yep. And, and you can be like, okay, I'm, I'm going to build my, my app and then I can decide later if I want to make it a sovereign chain or I, I want to make it a roll-up and I don't have to change anything in my code or like probably like a few lines of code and that's going to be it and it's going to work, yeah. That, that's actually quite good. So what are the challenges that you've been, fa face, you know, you've been facing recently? What are the challenges that yeah. you've been facing recently? Yeah, so uh, I think the biggest challenge is usually tech debt um, because we being... Um, we, we have chains that have been running for a long time. So every time you want to innovate and change stuff, you also have to take into account all, the, all those chains that are already running and you have to be like, okay, I need to do migrations. I, I need to uh, try to stick to one kind of storage and like formatting how things uh, work. 
Um, so I think, yeah, tech debt and, and, and yeah, tech debt, it's, it's the challenge. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, speaking of challenges, what are some of the achievements that you have recently, you know, achieved? Um, well, I think we, in the Cosmos SDK, we are constantly getting new users on board. And I think that's one of our big, biggest achievements. So we have all of these uh, super cool chains that use the Cosmos SDK, like Celestia, uh, DYDX. Uh, we have well, uh, crypto.com. It's a bit like from it's it, it's one of the first, I think. And we have Dimension. We have Noble. We have Neutron. We have all of these cool chains that use Cosmos SDK. So I think that's one of our uh, biggest achievements. Yeah. What's the number of the users you guys currently have? Oh, we have so many chains. I think it's... Uh, it's a hard question, I know, but it's important. I think people want to know how many... Yeah, people. hundreds, hundreds of, of chains. And yeah, about actual persons using uh, every one of them. I don't know, uh, maybe thousands, like hundreds of, hundreds of thousands uh, of people using them. Uh, the thing is that they are using them uh, in an indirect manner, you know, because yeah. it's like, okay, maybe they are using the Celestia chain. Um, indirectly, they are using the Cosmos SDK, but they don't know about it. They, the end user doesn't, doesn't uh, really care about the Cosmos SDK uh, below it. Uh, we do care, and we do care because if no one knows that we are below that stack, it's because it's working well, right? <laughs> yeah. Logically speaking, that's absolutely true. Well, how do you plan to expand Cosmos SDK adoption? Well, in Spain and everywhere. Yeah, so I think uh, we expand um, adoption by allowing more and more chains to build with the Cosmos SDK, making it easier for them to, to build stuff so uh, they don't have to fight the, the code to, to get what they want uh, to do. So I think that's, that's our main goal, to make it easier for them. And then that's going to naturally bring more people on board because it's going to be like, oh, I, I want to build a blockchain. I'm not sure if, if I want to be a, a roll-up, I want to be a consumer chain. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, I can just do it with the Cosmos SDK. And uh, yeah, late, later, uh, later I can decide because it's super easy to do. Okay, some, which are some of the key features yeah. that set you apart so people try to choose you among other companies? Yeah, I think the, the key features we have is, well, I'm going to say this a lot, a lot of times, but it's uh, flexibility. Because uh, okay. when we, we have... Uh, this battle-tested software because it's being used uh, by like these huge chains and they they've been working fine and they they've been having uh, um, they they've been having uh, onboarding lots of users and it's been working well for them so uh, I I think uh, we we can bring more people onto the Cosmos SDK with uh, uh, being more flexible uh, being more uh, reliable so like every release we do we make improvements we fix stuff from so from previous releases yes. yes yes absolutely we, we want to make it a safe uh, it's a safe uh framework it's a safe toolkit so um if you are um if you are using a chain that uses the cosmos sdk i think you you can be pretty sure that things uh, under uh, underneath are working correctly yeah <laughs> good point actually so what's next where do you see yourself in the coming one to two years the company and what are some of the milestones or goals you want to reach? Okay, I think um, we want to keep uh, pushing forward on this vision of making uh, it easier to use. We want to make, easy, make it easier for other um, ecosystems to come into our ecosystem, to connect ecosystems like, I don't know, Ethereum and Cosmos lately have been... Um, getting merged together a little with, by some projects and that, that's getting lots of attention. Uh, so I think that, that we are on a good path. So we are going to keep pushing on this um, path of uh, uh, bringing better, fe uh, better features and, and better um, developer experience. Yeah. Thank you so much. But I've, got a lot, a lot of, but I've got a lot more questions for you because I think the people behind the camera, they want to know What's your opinion about the crypto trend? So let's talk a little bit more crypto this time. You agree? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> so what's your prediction of crypto this year? It's going to go up. Okay, how much? A lot. How I much? hope. <laughs> Tell me numbers, please. <laughs> um, I don't know, 100%. How about the halving? Easy. Bitcoin halving? Uh, it's going to triple, for sure. It's triple, yeah. okay. So you That's wishful thinking, of course, but yeah. it's going to triple. I know. What happens next? 
what happens next? I think we, uh, with all the ETF stuff going on, like the, the, the mainstream media getting, uh, giving attention to crypto and, and all of that, I think we, we're going to be seeing, uh, and all of this with uh, account abstractions, making it easier for um, like normal users, not yeah. like crypto savvy users. Uh, they are going to be able to join chains and start using them. Uh, so I think we are going to see lots of new users coming into crypto. Yeah. Well, I want to know what are your top five crypto projects? Oh, okay. Um, Cosmos Hub. <laughs> no, I, I love the Cosmos Hub. Yeah. I, I like it because it's like one of the, the OGs in yeah. Cosmos space. I like Celestia. Um, maybe, I don't know, Neutron. Uh, maybe, I don't know, Dimension and. I don't know, uh, osmosis, let's say. <laughs> That's quite a good answer already. Yeah, yeah, all, all in the Cosmos ecosystem. What's your prediction about Bitcoin? Will it skyrocket to 100K this year or you're not so optimistic? <laughs> I hope it goes even higher than that, but it's all oh, both. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite interesting. So what's your message to the people who are watching you currently? They want to decide what's next. What's your message to the people? Uh, Showing crypto, uh, don't showing for the money, showing for uh, the learnings, the technology, and uh, you're going to have fun. Yeah. Thanks a lot for the Thank interview. Thank you. Great to have you here. Great to have your insights. I think a lot of people were looking forward to this interview, and I'm happy to have you here. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much. Thanks.